What's going on guys, Shadowji here, and today I'm going to enter the Destiny 3 conversations. Um, you guys will clearly tell in this video that I don't like talking about Destiny 3. There's many reasons why, and honestly, just want to break it down. This video is going to be the truth about Destiny 3, and we're going to be honest, guys. Like, I am kind of frustrated by this conversation. I guess you could say it started by Glad's tweet, and then it, you know, transpired into multiple different things. There's obviously not picking at Glad. There's very valid reasons to want a destiny 3 and i am one of those people that do want a destiny 3 but it's a little too soon for conversations like this and it is a little bit frustrating so before we jump into all the stuff and break it down the video will be time stamped for you guys just want to mention that if you guys enjoy the content we don't really do videos like this often maybe i will start doing it but if you guys want more content from me be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to notify when i do drop more content so with that being said let's break down the honest truth about destiny 3. So first up, we're gonna break that down into three different bullet points. Now, first up about the truth about this whole shenanigans is it won't change your frustration with the seasonal model. This is one thing I am seeing cause these Destiny 3 conversations is the seasonal model is frustrating to players, therefore they want Destiny 3. And I'll be honest guys, uh, we'll do a little breakdown of episodes versus seasons and how are they different? Well. I don't know how much different they are. It's something new and we're in act two of echoes and it's more of a yes and no right now. So it's more so a different approach to how we interact with the seasonal model, which I think is okay. But at the same time, it's so early to really judge the quality of episodes when we're just starting out. It's like saying season the hunt is a massive fail and seasons are horrendous. Well, I don't know if you guys know, they really upped the ante with seasons when season of the chosen came out and season of the splicer, two seasons back to back that I think are some of the best, if not the best seasons in destiny's cycle. We know that there's opulence and menagerie and things like that, but those were broken apart DLCs sold to us as seasons instead of DLC drops, but that's besides the point. Now, personally, do I love episodes? Well, no and yes. I think Act 2 shows the potential of what it could be, but weekly narrative dumps isn't really it right now, and thankfully this won't be the case in the next episode Revenant. Bungie has confirmed that every act will drop all of its story content at the launch week, and I think that's a great change. The whole acts process feels like a content dump rather than a full-on week-to-week dump, and I like that a lot more. I know that every six weeks we should get a little bit juice in the game, and so far with Act 2, I was pretty impressed by Battlegrounds, the first two, not all three launch but the first two battlegrounds were fun they're quick and they are a little bit of a different approach of how they built them uh usually what battlegrounds would do and they even talked about this in their live stream is that they repurpose patrol areas and they really really reuse assets for this and in this two maybe three battlegrounds we haven't seen a third one yet it really highlighted how they really want to push the way we i guess you could say interact with the activity and they didn't want these to be full-on strikes but they definitely want to lean closer to the strike than what battlegrounds has in the past and so far with the two battlegrounds i do think it's a step in the right direction and it feels really really good but the thing about episodes is are we getting more content and as of right now maybe i will be honest i don't expect us to get more weapons in three episodes compared to four seasons that number probably will be around the same number we have been getting in those four season model that we saw in previous years of destiny however there is a good chance that this new model gives us more and possibly better activities in the long run not saying that it is guaranteed right now but i will be honest it is a little bit refreshing to see that episodes can introduce a new way of how i activities are drop and what type of activities we can get uh, if you guys pay attention to the leaks i may say a little bit of spoilers but there is a potential of a exotic mission in act three which i think is pretty cool because technically we already got an exotic mission for stoicism or the exotic class items i say stoicism because i'm a titan main but yeah I, I do think that there is some good stuff here for content in the activity sense i'm not thinking we're going to get more weapons but that's how I break down episodes versus seasons. But overall, moral of the story, episodes so far are proving to be a step in the right direction for the seasonal model. And this is just my opinion. Again, it can obviously improve and there could be more we can do. But at the end of the day, if Destiny 3 drops this fall, episodes will still be the same seasonal model going forward. So if you think episodes prove that Destiny need a new entry in the franchise, well, I think it's safe to say that you're wrong. Even though I do agree, I want Destiny 3, but it's not going to change how you feel about the episodic or seasonal model that Bungie has been doing these last couple years. So just get over it. Now with the second point in this video, Destiny 3, 
if it comes out, depending on the launch, it can have massive negatives on the community, depending how it's done. Now, the main reason I bring up Destiny 3 coming out and things like that is Glad. Now, here on screen is this tweet. Um, in general, I like Glad a lot. I don't want to throw him in the spot as the main culprit here, but I do think he kind of highlights a lot of what the community generally feels like in terms of a Destiny 3, for example. So I'll say what others won't. Destiny's new episodes are just renamed seasons. It's a way too similar cadence and model. It's a marketing tactic to rename things to spark excitement in an exhausted game. Destiny needs a complete restart. New everything, nothing carried over. So in general, that's the main point of this. Saying Destiny needs a complete restart, new everything, nothing carried over over that in my opinion is a lot so sure i want a new destiny game aka destiny 3 but let's not forget the absolute disaster d2 was at launch we had all that in d1 completely reset and this isn't even loot wise this is also activity wise it was truly a point for myself as someone who has played destiny since the beginning of the beta a moment where i question do i want to continue with this experience if this is the cycle i am going to be in i play the game and then from start to finish get all this stuff and then when the new one comes out everything is wiped away and my time feels not rewarded it's something that we don't need to do to this community and i do think bungie has shown that there is a path forward to where this isn't the case but i will say this in terms of what he said saying nothing should carry over is absolutely not the answer now yes everything can't carry over for example but let's make a list of what should for example first up on this list there'll be all destinations there is zero reason for destiny 3 to have less locations at destiny 2 while it should not be a selling point for the game itself it should serve to enhance the experience just do work to evolve the locations like for example it is crazy that in in part of echoes right now with the vex and everything that a place like venus doesn't exist especially lord wise with the ishtar collective and things like that that planet is completely forgotten and gone from destiny 2 it has been it hasn't been a presence since d1 even if you can do the vault of glass raid that is a forgotten place with so much in it that it's just absurd that all destinations didn't really transfer over in one way or another from d1 into d2 now next up on the list exactly exotics there is no reason for destiny 3 to launch with no exotics from d2 or better yet re-release exotics from d2 as content in a future update now it's important to mention all this is pending d3 leaks about classes another thing i would love to see carry over is your arsenal of weapons now i'm not saying every weapon should transfer over but certainly the recent ones one problem with a complete reset is if players feel like their time isn't rewarded then they may jump ship earlier and potentially you lose a lot of people at the start of the game. This was the case when it comes to vanilla D1, and I would like to see raid and dungeon weapons transfer over alongside expansion weapons. Maybe you can throw in some seasonal arsenals if you really want to diversify and fill up the choices of weapons players can start off with. And last up on this list, activities. Raids and dungeons are the first that come to mind when it comes to activities. There is zero reason for a complete reset in endgame activities. Destiny 3 should be about a new future building on an already existing content platform that we have seen with Destiny 2. And I do think Bungie definitely needs to bring some value to these activities if they did carry over via power or armor rewards. But seeing reprise raids be sold as updates and content that is meaningful to the Destiny 2 experience, I do think is a little annoying because, again, players want new things, things they haven't experienced. And I don't mind refreshes like they did with Deepstone making those weapons craftable and introducing them new perk pools. That's fine. But seeing reprise raids be a selling point is a little frustrating because I do think that these are already existing activities Bungie has made and that it's also wasted resources because Bungie in the past had built fat bad foundations about reprising content and bringing content forward into new places where hopefully when it comes to D3 that they definitely get it honed out of and uh, work better because at least on the end game activity side of things I don't want to relive what we did in D2 of we had all that stuff in D1 and then D2 came over and uh, we were back at square one it was a bad taste in my mouth and something I don't want to experience again even though I do want a Destiny 3. So 
The last point I'll make on the honest truth of Destiny 3 is that people will fall into the same annual cycle of saying game needs a big reset or this expansion is make or break. This cycle of love and hate for Destiny has never been more clear than now. We have arguably come off the greatest expansion in Destiny history, maybe one of the best experiences also in Destiny history. And somehow there is people saying, and notable people, we need Destiny 3. This has returned, or at least this conversation point has returned in a hilariously fast way that honestly, I wish I was shocked, but I don't know. Like I said before, Destiny 3 could come out this fall, this cycle would still come back about some sort of reset Bungie needs to do. The reality is this. Sometimes we as a player have a hard time putting the game down we love so much, and sometimes that love can turn into hate. It's okay. It happens. We are passionate about the game, and for many of us, we play tons of time in the game, and wanting something new like a Destiny 3 seems like it's the answer, but honestly, guys, it's not. Uh, I have a long list of things that Bungie should do better with Destiny, whether that's balancing out the classes, whether that's a better, you know, content structure with the seasonal model that we are getting. The list is always going to be evolving. But if you guys are having a frustrating time with Destiny, then it's also important to mention that it's okay to feel like this. It's also okay to put the game down and maybe play some other stuff. I do think episodes are a interesting way of trying to tell the player to put the game down, but also like, hey, come back every six weeks for a big content dump. You can play it in all week. You can play it all in three weeks, whatever it may be, whatever your time gives you, whatever it may be. I, I do think that there's something there, but um, personally, it's hard for me to feel the need for a Destiny 3 after what Bungie delivered with the final shape. But I also mentioned we are truly in an uncertain period for the franchise. But at the same time, that's why I'm so excited. The reset for the franchise is already here. Bungie has wrapped up all the major story beats and they are now creating new ones to build upon and it's just up to Bungie to share those details of how the process will be. Whether it's another expansion to set up a big story beat for Destiny 3 or it's something else we have no idea about. All it takes is for us to have a little bit of patience about what's going on and maybe not start the Destiny 3 conversation two months ish about two months after the release of arguably the greatest expansion they have delivered but pretty much that's all i gotta say on this one i'm curious to hear your guys thoughts on the destiny 3 conversation again i, I don't want to say that i don't want destiny 3 or destiny 3 isn't going to be helpful to the franchise but i feel like there has been a misconception right now about the deliverance or at least the existence of destiny 3 if it came out in the fall that it will bring the franchise back to its glory days which i don't think has left maybe you could say player base or interest but at the same time like cool yeah i'm like you i want destiny 3 but let's not think it's the end all be all to solutions that we may be wanting from bungie in terms of class balancing or activity balancing or power creep or desirable weapons or craftable weapons whatever our frustrations may be destiny 3 really isn't the option uh there there could be a ton of stuff they do don't get me wrong like let's say they did world tiers in destiny 3 but I just want to make this video to kind of highlight that this conversation's back. I'm a little frustrated and just want to set the honest truth about the reality of Destiny 3 isn't the solution that people are thinking they want, or at least they think is the case, but I've done too much rambling on this. I am going to now stop talking about Destiny 3 until, I don't know, until we get another reason to talk about Destiny 3. It's in the works. We know it's in the works. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any comments down below, drop it down below. We can have a conversation about it. If you guys want more content from me, like I said before, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified when I do drop more content. But that's all I got for this one. Shannon G here, and I'm out.